Okay, everyone. Um, this is uh, day three of the Visual Web Developer uh, series. Um, this is tutorial number three. Um, I am Ahmed Mojarai with Imagination Everywhere and uh, the RIA Institute. And I want to thank you for watching this latest video. And what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the most important element on a web page. Um, if you can think about it uh, for a minute while I open up uh, Visual Studio and let's open up our most recent project which was the Tags and Properties Solution. Um, yesterday we covered um, the div and you know the how HTML tags are, 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 are structured, the syntax of them. And so if we go over briefly that they have a start an ending tag. All of them always have that, you know. So uh, just re, just remember that they all have a start and an ending tag. Um, so what is the most important element um, on the on the HTML page? Um, is it the div? Is it the head? Is it the HTML? Well, to the well to the end user the person that's viewing your web page the most important tag on a web page is the first tag you'll see in IntelliSense which is the anchor tag and what is the anchor tag? the anchor tag is what you use let's get rid of this create a hyperlink So if we go ahead and save that and we can go ahead and run this in the browser. Look at this in the browser. There's a hyperlink. A link. A link to my website. So if I go ahead and click on it, it takes me to my website imaginationeverywhere.com if you all haven't seen my website this is my website imaginationeverywhere.com uh, just to let you know <laughs> alrighty uh, let's get out of there and so uh, we can take the browser back but this is basically a, a hyperlink so if we go back into Visual Studio and we examine the elements of a hyperlink uh, what we can do is we can examine the elements of a hyperlink the anchor tag is has a uh, two features of the most the most important feature of course is you need to have the uh, the bracket a and then you close it off and then what it, it, it has these properties if we go down to here um, the most important property in order to, to have an anchor is the href property or the hyperlink re reference and after you press the equal sign you can point your uh, hyperlink to a page to a URL on the internet like Microsoft.com or Imagination.com ImaginationEverywhere.com um, and you know you have to put the appropriate um, information in there um, of course uh, you can go HTTP colon backslash backslash Microsoft it, it, you're not required to put the www microsoft.com and then the other feature of the hyperlink is you need to put some text there so we can put this and you put that in between the tags this is Microsoft's website 
website so if we go back and we go ahead and save that and we refresh the browser this is Microsoft's website and it's well I guess I spelled it wrong but <laughs> it takes you to a website basically so um, you know creating a hyperlink you know if you think about it is so important that you know when you first get your computer you open up your browser the first thing you do is you go to Google or Yahoo all they are is, a, is websites with hyperlinks on it and you have to know how to create a hyperlink uh, from scratch. I know there's a drag and drop concept and in Expression Web you can uh, do an editor box and you know create a hyperlink by just right clicking and doing this and doing that but this is the anchor tag so you know um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, or produce uh, another video today uh, exploring one other property of the hyperlink just to show you the power of the hyperlink so Thank you for watching this video. And again, you know, this is the first tag that we're learning about the anchor tag. Um, so, uh, and also, I wanted before I finish out, um, I wanted to take you also make sure you take a look at um, this website right here, WC3 Schools, um, www. W uh, three schools.com um, and this website um, basically will teach you everything you need to know about HTML um, so please uh, go there and you can look at the anchor tag and you can look at the attributes and everything that is involved in it um, and uh, we're gonna go explore one more important attribute uh, using another HTML tag within the anchor tag um, so uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video and thank you for watching.